what if a single microscopic bacterium could decimate 90% of the world's orange groves and send juice prices through the roof? On today's episode of Agri 360X, 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. daily, we peel back the layers of the citrus industry's greatest threat and the groundbreaking solutions striving to save our favorite morning fruit. Ancient roots and market promise oranges trace back over 4,000 years to Southeast Asia's river valleys weaving their way through Persian caravans before landing in Europe in the 15th century. Today, this vibrant fruit underpins a $35 billion global industry. Brazil leads with 18 million tons of oranges in 2022, followed by the United States at 4.5 million tons, USDA. From Florida's rolling groves to Spain's sun-baked Valencian orchards, oranges fuel both fresh fruit markets and a $10 billion juice sector. But beneath the sweet peel lies an escalating battleground. Growers juggle soaring input costs, fertilizer, labor, water, against razor-thin margins. As we'll see, the promise of profit collides head-on with existential threats. From here, let's uncover the crisis at the heart of modern citrus. The citrus greening crisis and grower conflicts. 1. Citrus greening disease, Huang Long Bing. Oh, first detected in Florida in 2005, this bacterial scourge is spread by the Asian citrus salad. Once infected, trees produce bitter, misshapen fruit and die within two to five years. Florida's orange output plunged 75% between 2004 and 2021, wiping out an estimated $7 billion in farm gate value. 2. Pesticide dependence and environmental backlash, oh. To control silids, growers spray systemic insecticides up to 20 times per season. While this slows disease spread, it exhausts soil health, decimates beneficial insects, and draws criticism from environmental groups. 3. Labor and Water Conflicts O citrus requires 1-200 mil millimeters of water per year. In drought-prone Florida and California, farmers compete with urban users and ecosystems, rising well fees and labor shortages driven by immigration policy, force many operations into debt. 4. Market volatility of juice demand waxes and wanes. A single contamination recall can erase entire shipments, eroding retailer trust and locking out small producers. These interwoven pressures create a high-stakes tension, sustain yields or sacrifice profitability, and risk groves going dark. Next, we'll explore how innovation is shifting the balance, cutting-edge cultivation and biotech defenses. 1. Heat-tolerant and disease-resistant rootstocks. O researchers at the University of California and USDA have released Sun Citrus HB4, a rootstock engineered to tolerate higher soil salinity and fend off greening. Trials in California's Coachella Valley saw infected tree survival rates jump from 20% to 65%. 2. Precision Orchard Management. O drone-mounted hyperspectral cameras scan for early signs of greening chlorosis and canopy decline, days before symptoms appear to the naked eye. Targeted foliar sprays then treat only affected trees, cutting chemical use by 50%. 3. Biological Controls O entomologists introduced Tamarixia radiata, a parasitic wasp, to suppress the psyllid population naturally. In enclosed trials, parasitism rates reached 70%, slashing pesticide dependency. 4. Biotech and gene editing, O oh, CRISPR techniques show promise in editing the sweet orange genome for greening resistance. Although commercial release is three to five years away, regulatory frameworks in the US, Brazil, and the EU are fast-tracking field trials. 5. Water smart irrigation O oh, subsurface drip lines combined with soil moisture probes ensure each tree receives exactly what it needs. Some groves now use AI-driven irrigation, reducing water use by up to 40% while maintaining or boosting fruit size. These solutions don't just patch leaks, they rebuild the foundation of a resilient citrus industry. But even the healthiest orange can spoil if the supply chain breaks. Let's dive into post-harvest challenges. Harvest, cold chain breakdowns, and fixes. Conflict, speed versus quality. Oranges must be cooled from orchard temperature, 30 degrees to 4 degrees C's within 12 hours. Delays invite decay, flavor loss, and dreaded off flavors. Tension points. 1. Manual versus automated sorting. Oh, hand sorting ensures careful grading but averages 30 tons/day per crew. 
automated optical sorters process 200 tons a day, but misclassify up to 8% of fruit. 2. Logistical bottlenecks owe in peak season, Florida's railway depots and port terminals overflow. Oranges sit in unrefrigerated railcars for days, incurring 15-20% spoilage. 3. Food safety owe mandatory wash lines and sanitizer dips can introduce waterborne pathogens, if not rigorously maintained. A single listeria outbreak halts shipments to major grocery chains. Solutions Mobile on-farm cooling units Solar-powered walk-in coolers at Grove Edges drop fruit temp immediately, slashing post-harvest loss by 35%. Blockchain traceability Each bin of oranges is tagged with a QR code tied to harvest time, cooling logs, and sanitation records, so retailers can verify every step. Hybrid sorting Combining AI-driven optical sorters with human oversight reduces misclassification to under 2% and processes 120 tons or day per line. These fixes transform harvest from a race against time into a controlled, transparent process. Finally, let's expand our lens to global markets and the quest for sustainability. Trade wars, sustainability, and the road ahead. 1. Tariffs and trade barriers O. Oh. In 2023, the EU imposed a 15% anti-dumping tariff on U.S. orange juice concentrate, triggering a price war. Brazilian exporters swiftly captured market share, reshaping trade flows. 2. Smallholder inclusion and equity O oh, in Mexico's Sinaloa region, over 30,000 family farms supply U.S. imports. Yet only 10% can afford global certifications. Global G.AP. Cooperatives pooling resources are emerging to secure cold chain access. 3. Carbon footprint and water ethics of oranges carry a water footprint of 560 liters per kilogram. Progressive groves now power cold rooms with on-farm solar arrays, cutting greenhouse emissions by 50% compared to grid electricity. 4. Consumer trends of demand for seedless, easy peel, high beta carotene varieties spurs breeders to develop niche lines. Premium segments like Valencia Gold command $0.80 tulokin over commodity-grade fruit. Path forward. Public-private partnerships, governments in Spain and Brazil co-fund research into greening-resistant varieties and digital traceability platforms. Regenerative agriculture, no-till cover crops, compost teas, and intercropping with nitrogen-fixing legumes improve soil health and reduce agrochemical reliance. Market diversification. Beyond fresh fruit and juice, Orange peel extracts in cosmetics and essential oils present a $1 billion opportunity by 2027. By addressing trade, equity, environment, and innovation in harmony, the citrus world can thrive, safeguarding the fruit that brightens our breakfast tables. Conclusion and final CTA. From ancient trade routes to today's AI-driven groves, oranges face existential threats and bold solutions. What surprised you about the citrus greening battle? Would you embrace CRISPR edited trees or focus on biological controls? How should smallholders gain access to premium markets? Drop your thoughts below. Like if you learned something new and subscribe to Agri360X at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. for your daily deep dive into agricultural innovation. See you next time.